Since this is the same backing track as our first lesson, we are still in the key of G. Basically, we play a couple different riffs on our guitar and we're in a constant call and response with the horn section. During the first seven bars, we play two licks. The first riff... This starts off on the root and then we slide this double stop on the G and B strings. The second riff is... This starts on the root, but it ends on a B flat. Right there. Be aware of the timing in this riff as well as how precise you play. So it's not a... or something like that. You know, you have to make sure you keep the timing, uh, timing correct. That's it. From bar 8, we will introduce two more riffs. We start uh, uh, playing this riff once. And we continue uh, playing the following riff three times after that. An interesting part about these licks is that they never finish on the root note. Uh, but they do sound like they want to resolve to the root. We are hinting at the root with our riffs, but the horns are actually uh, the, the instruments that are playing the root. You can try and play the same licks while adding the root note at the end of all the licks, but I'm sure you will agree it sounds better without. If we'd play it with ending on the root note, for instance. You know, we'll, we'll get that. It, it, we'll be doubling the root together with the horns and it's nice to create space for each other. Another thing I'd like to point out, did you notice that we start our second motif during bar 8 and are therefore leading the way for the horns to uh, change to their second motif? We are basically paving the way for them to change their horn parts. In this exercise we are constantly doing this and in Western music we are used to work with even numbers. For example, we are always playing 4th fourth, fourth rhythm or after 4 or 8 or 16 bars a song might change to a different part. But using bar A to lead into what's going to happen after that can be interesting, as it's not what the listener will subconsciously expect. And perhaps that's the biggest lesson in this concept. When you know in advance what another instrument is going to play, uh, you have to, the option to do something with that. <laughs> 